Happy New Year, everyone. Happy New Year for those who watch our show. And here we go again with our weekly Money Lodge show. And this is the first show of 2021. And uh, let's hope that this year really will be the great year so far, uh, comparing to the last year, which had uh, a lot of uh, different challenges. But anyway, financial literacy, investing, entrepreneurship, all these topics uh, probably will be uh, valid uh, more than ever also this year. And we are here uh, with Paul Arome together to share our experiences and thoughts about uh, the steps which can help you also to increase your financial intelligence and as well to reach uh, a higher level of financial freedom. So each time in this show we uh, share our uh, thoughts about different topics from these areas and uh, today also uh, the topic is uh, regarding uh, the same areas and this is markets. So what does it mean the markets? Uh, is it uh, the same market everywhere or the markets can be different? Also how we can uh, understand the influence of markets uh, to the price of different assets and the most popular question probably to everyone when is a good time to get into the market or get out of the markets these questions we are going to discuss with follow today in order to help you to get a big 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 understanding about them so have hello and uh, happy new year for you also hi Irish. happy 2021 uh, to everybody and also wanted to mention to your comment is that uh, the good thing about having challenges is that it also creates opportunities and that's what we want as investors Exactly, exactly. And in the markets, probably we also can see a lot of different uh, challenges uh, where some people are afraid of and another group of people, exactly like you said, sees opportunities and they basically can use the markets better. So coming back to the topic of markets, uh, what is the market uh, in uh, your understanding and uh, uh, what is exactly the influence of a market uh, towards the different asset groups? Yeah, I think there are different uh, markets out there when we uh, when we talk about financial markets uh, or actually any markets, then it's basically a place where the buyers and the sellers meet each other. And when we talk about uh, financial markets, then uh, usually it's a place where uh, you can uh, uh, you know, trade securities or you can trade currencies or, or bonds. So there are different uh, markets. Uh, most well known is probably the, the stock market or, or exchanges, where uh, people uh, can you know exchange the stocks there. But uh, yeah, basically, um, this is kind of the general concept of the market. And, and of course, the, another idea is to there are bull markets and there are bear markets, and it really uh, depends if it's a kind of buyer's market or it's a seller's market. And, and we have seen ups and downs in, in 2020. And, and uh, I think right now there's a lot of uh, bulls uh, going and the market really going up in almost all of asset classes. But uh, as we know, the markets always go up and down and, and we have to understand the market forces. And based on that, we have to make our financial decisions. Exactly. Yeah, I like uh, our definition that basically uh, the market in in uh, bigger picture is just a place where buyers and sellers meet. And actually, probably this is the most simple way how to understand the market because is it, uh, it there is no big difference. Is it a food market or is it a stock market? Because the transactions made there are the same. Somebody is selling and somebody is buying. And the question is, uh, which uh, part of the uh, group is bigger, the ones who are willing to buy or the ones who are willing to sell? Because this is exactly what uh, influence the, the price of, uh, of the thing which is uh, sold. Uh, if there are more people who are willing to sell something than those who are willing to buy, the price goes down. And exactly opposite, if uh, there are more people willing to buy something, like for example, we now see with Bitcoin, uh, and less people who are having possibility to sell or produce this thing, then basically the, the price uh, goes up. And sometimes this uh, uh, speed of uh, going uh, up is uh, very significant as well as the speed of uh, going down down can be quite uh, quite fast so uh, what is your thoughts about when is the good time to get in the market because usually we can see a different uh, behavior in the uh, masses then uh, basically some people are afraid of getting in the in the certain market and at the same time the other group of people are going there with uh, really a big courage well, I, I personally, I, I don't believe in timing the markets. I think there's always the right time to get into the market. It's just a question of what is your you know, financial intelligence and, and do you know 
what you're planning to do because you know timing the market is like you know going to casino because you can never know when it's going up and when it's going down but what you can do is that if you have the skills of making money when the market is coming down and have the skills of making money when the market's going up that's the actually the, the real issue here exactly i totally agree with it because it depends on the skills and the knowledge you have and also the strategy which you use because let's see if you are investing for capital gains and you're always expecting that the price will go up there will be also certainly the time when there will be bad time for you to get into the market because, because it will be starting to go down but let's say if your strategy is uh, first of all to get a steady cash flow out of your investment then the timing is less important because if the cash flow which you are getting is okay for you you can still wait while the price is going down and uh, still be okay with the cash flow uh, coming from the from the investment let's say one yeah. Of my, yeah yeah go on so yeah, it's about that. That is that I think you can always find a good deal even in a bad market. Totally agree on it. And uh, let's say we invest now in, in real estate and uh, there are still quite a lot of good deals in the market, even though the price uh, went up quite significantly. And there are a lot of people who are saying it is a bubble already, the price will go down. Probably it is, probably it's not. But if you are able to find a good deals from your strategy side, then basically you can still be in the market and find a good deals. I also remember my uh, one of the investments uh, in the stock market uh, in Lithuania, uh, where I was uh, investing in uh, some dividend stocks, and basically the price of the stock was going down for a few several years. But at the same time, the company was paying quite a good dividends, and uh, it was okay for me to hold the stock all this time. And later on the price went up and I got uh, additional profit of selling these uh, stocks just because I was patient and I was uh, be able to be uh, I was able to be patient because this uh, cash flow from the dividend uh, made me less stress so I just was able to uh, to sleep uh, more calmer and basically wait for the time when the price will go up anyway so uh, by the way those who watch our show uh, you always can uh, write a questions uh, for us in the comments below the video and uh, as well here you can write a suggestions of the topics you want us to uh, discuss in our upcoming shows and this will help us uh, significantly because uh, then we will feel what uh, topics uh, are more valuable for you and we will prepare uh, to discuss uh, about these topics in the future so feel free to comment below the video your questions which we will cover in the end of the show if there are some and also suggestions for our upcoming show coming back to the markets uh, one of the um, indicators which is quite popular also in the stock investing when you evaluate the uh, the company results uh, and uh, is used basically in fundamental analysis uh, uh, is the one we want to present for you in our starfish vocabulary uh, section and this is EBIT. This is basically means earnings before income tax or just for simple understanding. This is a company profit that includes all incomes and expenses just except the interest rates and income taxes. Or if you look to the picture opposite, net income equals EBIT minus income tax and interest. So if you want to understand how the company is going well, there are def definitely more indicators you can watch but uh, this one is quite popular uh, together with uh, a bit DA indicator and more indicators which can uh, help you to understand if it's worth investing to this company or not and uh, the future of a company and the potential of a company is good or bad the same indicator also can be used also to measure uh, situation of your own business because this is one of the uh, indicators you can calculate out of uh, financial statements which is basically presented to you by the accounting company at least once per year and as an owner of a company you need also to get uh, basic understanding on financial statements because this is how you can control the uh, financial outcome of your own business as well so well, maybe you have something also to add to, to this yeah i think it's uh, it's the key number every business has to look and and like you mentioned it, it's also quite often the basis how to you know value your organization when somebody you know wants to buy a company then usually it calculates you know up to five to ten years EBIT, and this is uh, also the basis for the real value for your organization so yeah it's it's important to be profitable and that's what it shows exactly yeah, because it also helps to attract investors to your company uh, basing on these indicators as well 
So uh, these are the topics we wanted to discuss with you today. And if you have uh, any questions regarding the topic uh, about markets or any other questions which can help you to get ideas uh, how to be uh, more successful financially, how to move towards your financial freedom, feel free and write below the video. We still have a few minutes uh, to wait for it. And if there are some questions, we will be more than happy to share our thoughts and our answers about these questions. If, and if you're also interested in uh, our previous shows, you can always find them in our YouTube channel, Starfish Academy, also our Facebook page, Starfish Academy, as well as uh, Instagram TV. So any of these uh, channels which are more convenient for you can be used uh, to follow us and uh, to watch uh, previous shows, also upcoming shows and all other content which we uh, publish here for your benefit, for your better financial outcome in the future. I see that currently we don't have any questions yet, uh, but also if you watch uh, our show in the recorded uh, version, you still can uh, write the comments uh, and the questions because we will include these uh, questions in our next shows. Uh, and these shows are happening each week, the same time, the same day, except some holidays maybe, but <laughs> actually the same day, Tuesdays, uh, you can watch our show depending on where you are. Of course, the time frame can be different, but you can watch live shows and recordings as well and send us our questions uh, if you want us uh, to discuss them in the future. So any uh, other thoughts about yeah, markets? Yeah, I just maybe wanted to add this that because it's the first show of the, of the new year, then I think it's the right kind of time to also you know, set your financial goals if you haven't done it, and also maybe you know decide you know what markets would you like to be involved this year, and maybe there are some new markets you you have never been involved, and maybe it's time to learn and study and and to have you know better understanding about the new market. So so I think it's a you know it's really the right time to to set your financial goals, and also you know plan the steps that you need to learn to to get better. Exactly. And uh, probably the most important thing in what you said is uh, starting from understanding the markets where you want to get in, because it's not the right uh, way to get to the market uh, without any understanding and then try to figure out how it goes. Uh, first of all, it's better to uh, get a clear understanding uh, what uh, markets can be good for you and then dig deeper to get uh, more deeper knowledge about how to behave in these markets, how to get profit from these markets, and then get, get to the market, not only basing on the uh, sayings that uh, some certain asset class uh, will go certainly higher and higher and higher, or now it's the good time to get in, you need to make your own decision when it is a good time for you to get into the market, as well as to get out of the market. So yeah, start from there... your financial literacy. Yeah, I think there's no kind of good markets or bad markets. It's just what, what market is right for you and, and you have to make that decision by yourself. And there's a, you know, there are probably more opportunities out there than ever before. So I think it's a really, you know, important time to become financially intelligent. Exactly. And if you have questions, so from where to start, what could be this uh, first steps? So what could be the markets I uh, would be able to get in? Just uh, follow us on uh, channels which I mentioned, uh, Facebook, YouTube or Instagram, uh, where we basically will be able to present you more and more content uh, which can help you to understand what are the first steps and also there will be upcoming courses which you can just take and uh, learn the uh, steps which is required for you to start uh, real uh, practical actions in the markets which you choose. So just follow us on the channels and uh, uh, more and more content uh, are waiting for you in the future uh, from us. So this is uh, what we wanted to discuss with you today and next uh, week, the same time, the same day, we will be waiting for you and your comments uh, also and your questions in our next show, Money Logic, which we'll be doing together with Fala. Have a good day, have a good uh, start of um, uh, first probably, yeah, it's, it's the first uh, normal week of the year after all the celebrations. So like Valla said, set your goals and uh, make your week uh, efficient and uh, have a great results. Bye See bye. you next week. See you.